Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Grassi's European Adventures. Okay, just to start, this video is... I don't want to say sentimental, but it, it really brings out a lot of emotion in me from my trip. The reason being, this is the only time during my trip that I was genuinely scared. What you'll see later in the video is the moment where I almost got mugged and robbed on the streets of London. All I was trying to do was get to the train and actually take a plane out of London. I was, I was done with my time there and it, it was time to go somewhere else. But as I was heading out, I, I got myself into a sticky situation. Luckily, luckily though, I was able to get myself out of that situation. But every time I'm axed or every time I show these clips, it does bring up some memories that, you know, are, are, are quite terrifying. But on that note, guys, enjoy this lighthearted beginning to the Grassi vlog. Enjoy. So, out here on the streets of London, right, going to the grocery store to buy something, woman comes up to me, uh, sir, I need to see some proper identification because you can't buy that item without it. Some moisturizing cream. What? She checked my US passport, compared it to my debit card, and was like, you have longer hair. Why? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still not over the fact that I got ID'd for moisturizer. Like, what? Lady, duh. You can tell I'm still not over it, and that happened two months ago. What, what, you know what? Forget it. Let's get back to the program. So guys, I am leaving my hostel in London, England, and this, this completes this part of the journey. It was fun. I was here for, since Thursday, so four, five days. If I was to describe London, it would be a New York City vibe with funnier accents. <laughs> no, with, um, with with so much more to it. The city's huge. The city is bigger than um, New York City, and there's just so much. Uh, there's just so much. There's so much that it's incomprehensible. However. I am ready to leave. I've had my time, I've had my fun, I've gone to the clubs, I've gone, I've seen, I've eaten, and as, as, much as, as much as it was cool, I liked Paris better. But now, we're headed to the airport. I have a flight flying out of Gatwick, London Gatwick Airport, to Florence, where I'm meeting up with the rugby boys. We are going to, how you say, booze? Bonjour. Bon bon. Booze. Yeah. Hopefully I can make it there. I'm leaving super early for this flight. Because the last flight that I went on... <laughs> dude, I was like 20 minutes from not making this flight. Man, like I was close. But I should probably stop vlogging. I should probably figure out where the f*** I'm going. One thing I will say is London is very dirty. There's a lot of times where I'm going through and there's trash just on the streets I, I don't understand I don't understand how the garbage system works here okay so something something super freaky just happened I'm walking on the street and uh that dude who just passed me stared down my iPhone Yeah, what the fuck, bro? Fuck you. Alright, so I'm not, I'm not around at all. Like, I literally just dealt with people who just tried to fucking jump me. And I'm on my way to the train station right now. This Asian dude, while I was vlogging, stared down my phone. And we, like, turned back and looked at each other, like, multiple times. And I just had this van pull up, literally. It, I'm walking like right here, this pulls up, skirt, stops, 
Everything you just saw in those last few clips was 100% real. That is exactly how I was feeling in that moment. The split between the two clips is the one clip that I was vlogging and the other that I put up on Snapchat. So I believe that I do it justice to explain exactly what went down from my first hand personal view of what that situation was. So I was fully packed with my 30 pound backpack heading to the train station. Google Maps was taking me down this side road, which honestly, it, it looked like a generic side road. Nothing really out of the ordinary hit me. However, I was vlogging with my tripod in my right hand when I noticed an Asian man starting to walk towards me. He was a skinny build about my height and all, all I saw from him was he was staring down my iPhone, just right in my hand while I was vlogging on my tripod. So instantly my natural reaction was to move the tripod to the right side of my body and to, and to stop vlogging. This is when me and him made eye contact because at this point I'm staring him down because I am not gonna back down from this situation. So we stare each other down and pass each other where I take about five paces and then look over my right shoulder where I see him doing the same exact thing to me. So at this point, I understand that this is a very bad situation and I, I, my guard is instantly up and I'm like, you know what, you need to get out of here. So I take about 10 more paces and I check my shoulder one more time. And at this point, the Asian man is completely turned around staring at me. This is where it really clicks like, Christian, you are in a very, and I'm getting goosebumps right now talking about it, I can feel it. You are in a very bad situation, get out. So at that moment, I instantly cross the street and dip down another side street. I, I'm like, you know what, I'll figure out my way to the train station. I just need to get off of this road away from this guy. And look, if I was in America, it would be a different situation. I probably wouldn't try to escape the situation. I would try to confront it. But however, I'm with my 30 pound backpack with the only things I have in this foreign country. I can't afford for something to happen. So this is a this is the point where it gets really real and the goosebumps are really starting to come in now. I'm walking down this side street and this van pulls up out of nowhere. It comes literally out of nowhere. You can see it in the sunglasses and it comes diagonal onto the curb right where I'm standing. This is when you see me in the footage turn around and I, I muddle a couple curse words and I instantly start booking it down the street. That is where the scariest part of this moment happened. And it, it really, uh, it's tough for me to bring it up because I hear the van throw the car into the reverse and just gun it in reverse. And if you've ever driven a car and given it too much gas in reverse, you know exactly what sound that is. And it's the sound of that high pitch like and I heard that instantly. Now, the one thing that saved me in that situation, and I am so thankful for, that there was a car behind the van that did not allow him to reverse. So that's when I instantly put out on social media that I, I almost got mugged and that I'm okay, that I was okay in that situation, but that was truly terrifying. And really, that that really clicked for me, like, hey, you're you're really out on your own here, and you have to be careful. But when it comes down to it, I am just thankful that that situation resolved itself and that I made it out in one piece and it didn't escalate to where it could have gone. So guys, on that note, I do want to end this video. I do have more footage, but however, I believe that this video should solely be focused on that story because it does mean a lot to me and it does carry with me every single day because it's something that I really haven't had happened to me in my life before. So on that note, thank you for watching. I appreciate the view. If you'd like, subscribe, like down below, and I will see you in the next episode of Grassy Vlogs.